What's up, everybody? Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 anime and video game only video. That's right. This is going to be on its own separate pro on its own separate play playlist from now on. You guys can see that playlist on my channel. Um, originally, these videos were put in the uh, discussions playlist, and as, as you can tell from like a few of those videos, I even mentioned that. But I think that this pretty much branches off in, into its own sub-series so therefore I made a separate playlist for it so you'll be able to find those on my channel on the Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 anime and and video game only archetypes slash cards you know the reviews now for those who may be new to this channel and weren't and weren't subscribed to me um like around the time when I first uh um uh started these videos um the main reason why I do these is because like I just wanted to raise some uh discussion and some conversation you know like within the Yu-Gi-Oh community and you know like just basically ask you know if Konami was to release cards from like any video game or what have you or any anime you know um um you know like what cards you know like what would you like to see that haven't been released you know yet um and for me I feel like if there's some cards you know like within the anime and or in video games that seem like they would fit in you know like uh today's um uh scene that I feel like you know like maybe there's a chance that these cards would be released because like you're noticing nowadays you know that they are uh, like releasing um uh you know like cards that were um, uh, um from the anime and such more and more and it's also been a few cards that they released that were in video games of theirs which are you know like which, which is the reason why I made the Yu-Gi-Oh you know video game and, and anime only uh you know series so like this video was a video that I promised to make you know um earlier this week uh, because it has been a minute since I've done one of these and without further ado let's get started so the 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 two well like the cards that I'm going to be paying attention to in this one is going to be the Mass Knights and, and Air Fortress Ziggurat and, and you're going to see why in a minute so first let's just take a look at the cards um, first we have Mass Knight level 3 uh, of course, like, like you see him, like he looks like a little, you know, midget night mo <laughs> night monster. Um, it's an Earth Warrior effect monster, level three, of course. Uh, attack fifteen hundred, defense eight hundred. Description: During your standby phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard to special summon one Mass Knight level five from your hand or deck. Once per turn, you can inflict four hundred damage to your opponent if you activate this effect. This card cannot attack during this turn and so we're going to move on to level 5 and uh right here mass knight level 5 and, and it looks like you know level 3 I'm a little more um matured I, I guess you would say he leveled up <laughs> he leveled up um and this is a warrior effect monster level 5 uh, attack 2300 defense 1300 description during your standby phase you can send this face up card to the graveyard to special summon one mass knight level 7 from your hand or deck you cannot activate this turn you cannot activate this effect the turn this card is normal summon special summon or flip face up once per turn you can inflict 1000 damage to your opponent if you activate this effect this card cannot attack this turn and for the final level mass knight level 7 
and this guy looks like level five, but just you know, like I'm like with a bigger mask and like a bigger, you know, uh, arms and you know, armor pieces or what have you. He definitely looks leveled up. So we got level level three, level five, and level seven. So let's look at this guy. Earth Warrior, Effect Monster, level 7, Attack 2900, Defense 1800, Description. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card can only be special summon with, with Mass Knight level 5. Once per turn, you can inflict 1500 damage to your opponent. Now, like one of the things that really gets my attention with any card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, like any monster card in particular, is that does the effect that that monster may have um um like equal up to its uh its um its um summoning requirement does it does its summoning requirement equal up to its level and the effect that it has and for these three cards i, I would say that it it does now, one of the reasons why I would like to see Mass Knight, you know, in the game is because, well, for one, they already released it in the video game, you know, uh, up in Tag Force 4, I believe. And, you know, on top of that, it's been a minute since we've seen a decent level monster in the game, you know, like in the actual card game. And, like, this would be a good, you know... On the, how can I put it? Like a good reintroductions, um, like into the mass, you know. Well, not the mass night. I'm like, but the level, you know, monsters. Uh, that could be like a bad choice of words, you know, like my fault. But you know, like, uh, but you know, like, I think that this would be like a good new addition, you know, like to that series of cards. Uh, cause when you look at Mass Knight level three, you know, it's 1500, of course, you, you know, like you have to wait, you know, like during your, you know, like your standby phase, you know, in order for you to activate its effect. Plus it has like that burn damage. And if you use that, then you won't be able to, you know, on the attack. And it's the same situation with Mass Knight level five, you know, it can be normal summon. You know, but you would still have to wait, and then on top of that, you, you know, like you do, uh, like six hundred more burn damage than level three, and then you still have that um attack restriction on it. So those two cards are still balance. Now, where the average, you know, thinker like the average person in Yu-Gi-Oh that really doesn't know any better would say that oh this card right here is broken like I said you have to look at the effect the uh, the monster summoning requirements and you know everything it's level what have you um first off this card can't be normal summoner set period and all together like you would have to wait let's say one or you know, even like two turns, I'm like, well, before, like, like, you can even get this guy on the field. So, because you can't just, you know, I mean, of course, you know, once per turn, you know, like, you'll be able to hit your, on um, the component for, you know, you know like, uh, 1500, um, like, which is a bit much, you know, so I'm guessing if they would actually make this into an actual card, Maybe they would have to do this, you know. Well, it is already once per turn, so I don't know. Like maybe they would have to like, I'm like reduce that a little bit. I don't, not too sure, but you know, it can't be normal summon a set, and you would still have to wait like you know like on like one or two turns, or like or like before you could even, you know, like use this guy. And yes, after you, you know, hit, um, you know, like just hit your opponent with the burn damage, you would still be able to attack, 
but look at the trouble that you have to go through, you know, I'm like, just to get this guy out. You know, it takes time to get him out. So, with it being a level 7, also, you know, with its, uh, with its, um, its, um, summoning requirements, there's a big payoff for you getting it out, and this is what that payoff is. Now, prior to that, you know, you still have things to worry about, you know, like bottomless trap hole, or like dark hole, or what have you, or any other type of, you know, trap card or spell card out there that can, uh, that can prevent you from getting this guy out, especially these days in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, I think there's enough you know, elements to go up against it to where, you know, it's still kind of risky t to try to get this guy out, but at the same time, when you get him out, there's a big reward for it. So that's why I think, you know, this would be a good card to, you know, like come into the game. The next one, we're going to look at Air Fortress Ziggurat. X out all these. Air Fortress Ziggurat. Now, this card is an anime-only card, and I believe this was during the the Awakening of the Dragons uh, uh, arc. I think this is when this card um, first made its appearance. But, you know, Air Fortress Ziggurat, you know, let's look at it. It's a wind machine effect monster, level 8, attack 2500, defense 2000, description. This card cannot, cannot be normal summoner set. This card cannot be special summon except with Sky Union. This card is unaffected by the effects of your opponent's spell and trap cards during each of your, your end phases. Special summon 1 robot token, machine type, earth, Level 1, attack 0, defense 0, and face-up defense position. Robot tokens cannot declare an attack. While you control a face-up robot token, this card cannot be selected as an attack target. So, it pretty much prevents itself from, you know, like being selected as an attack target. But then again, you know... Let's look at Sky Union because it, you know, like I said, you, you can't summon it without Sky Union. Sky Union, no, normal spell card, uh, description, tribute three monsters you control, special summon one Air Force, Air Fortress Ziggurat from your deck. So you pretty much need three monsters on the field, you know, plus that spell card just to get this guy out. So yeah, like this would work very well uh, unlike with the uh, um, well not very well but you know it fits in you know attribute wise and type wise uh, I'm like with the Phantom Beast Crafts you know like this could be like their I uh, like their um, an unofficial boss monster or something like you know what I mean and with Sky Union it said tribute three monsters and it doesn't really give any you know any uh, destination as to where the monsters have to go so like, any monsters even you know like the tokens I'm assuming can still be you know used as this card's uh, um, cost. And then on top of that, you can't have this guy in your hand. It has to be in your deck. So, of course, you would have to use certain cards. I can't think of the names of them in, in particular, but, you know, cards that would put, you know, these, uh, these type of monsters back into your deck in order for you to use them, you know, 
like whenever you activate Sky Union. So yeah, like these are like a few cards that came to mind as to what I feel you know like would be good for the game right now if they were looking for some cards to release and you know like they were looking for you know something like that maybe they would come across one of my videos and be like hey you know I mean yeah it is wishful thinking but still you know I can dream can I but you know like you know like when you think about it like I really did make some good points you know this fits in good you know like with the phantom beast crafts it is balanced considering that you have to wait for it to uh well not, well not necessarily wait for it but you have to have it in your build and then on top of that you have to have three monsters to tribute in order to use sky union you know, like, it, it is a hassle, and it has somewhat of a payoff, you know, somewhat, of, somewhat, you know, like, it can't be attacked as long as it has its own tokens on the field, I mean, like, it is 2,500, um, I doubt that they will need to make any adjustments to this thing, uh, at all, because, like, it has enough going up against it, um, uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this this video right here. I mean, like the Mass Knights and Air Fortress Ziggurat and Sky Union. Uh, you know, like all the cars that if th if they were looking to release any new ones, I would like to see, you know, these um like be, you know, like made into um official cards. I would like to see these be made into official cards. You know, so, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, of course, like the links to all of these, you know, like monsters and such will be in the description so you guys can look at them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for another video game and anime only uh, vid. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. Peace.